So, the next part of the discussion is during metal extraction, during the metal extraction, removal of impurities have to be done. This is very important concept. So, here impurities impurities we call it as uh, gang particles impurities are the gang particles these are called as gang particles so to remove the gang particles what we do is we, we try to add flux so these gang particles gang particles are added with flux flux is a neutralizing agent so to remove impurities to remove impurity add flux you should add flux when you add flux to the gang particles then you get slag slag is nothing but fusible mass Slag is nothing but fusible mass. So, what is happening here is suppose this gang can be acidic and gang can be basic. Again, flux is acidic and flux can be basic. If it is flux, if it is basic, you can take all metal oxides like calcium oxide, you can take magnesium oxide, you can take the examples of uh, the flux acidic flux you can take p2o5 you can take uh, uh, sio2 p2o5 sio2 uh, you can take uh, as the acidic flux then uh, so it, it depends on what kind of interaction we are doing so suppose for example um, example you can take in uh, extraction of in the extraction of copper in the extraction of copper impurities are oxides of iron so if fe2o3 is the gang particle it is basic gang is basic here so we should add flux which is acidic so this is flux gang is basic so flux should be acidic so therefore you get over here that is FeSiO3 FeSiO3 this is slag fusible mass fusible mass sometimes if the gang is basic Sometimes, if the gang is basic, so suppose if you balance the equation, I think uh, if I take 2 over here, 6 plus 1, 7 uh, might be, you can take 6 oxygens, 2 silicons and 2 irons plus half mole of oxygen. Okay, small amount of gas is removed out. So, calcium oxide is gang particle basic, then flux is acidic. You can take P2O5 is acidic, flux is acidic, you got here calcium phosphate as a slag, fusible mass slag. Balance the equation, take uh, 3 over here and uh, already balance 4 to 8, 3 plus 5, 8, everything is balanced. So, you get a fusible mass. So here the final topic here is after understanding this concept refining of metals refining of metals so in the refining of metals uh, why do we go for refining refining is bringing purifying purifying up to 100% 
pure metal is one point second is removal of tracer amount of removal of tracer amount of impurities like uh, that is arsenic arsenic antimony uh, then bismuth tracer amount of elements etc removal of this so in extraction of in refining of in refining of copper which is obtained what we do is we just take a vessel in which we take two electrodes one anode electrode and one cathode electrode one copper electrode one is copper electrode and the one is another copper electrode and we connect it to the battery we connect it to the battery and uh, one is acting as uh, anode electrode and another one is acting as cathode electrode cathode is given by ne negative sign convention anode is given by positive sign convention and we fill it with the copper sulfate we, we, we fill it with dilute sulfuric acid dilute H2SO4 we fill it with dilute H2SO4 what we are noticing here is at anode the copper ions are released you can see that Cu2 plus ions are released at anode and uh, the copper metal pure copper is deposited at cathode and uh, cupric ions are released released at anode that means equal amount of weight is lost at the anode electrode and equal amount of weight is gained at the uh, cathode electrode finally giving us 100% of pure copper and this is how we can go for refining of metals in particular if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus